Hi everyone, in this video we are going to play Flexbox Froggy. You can play this game on uh, flexboxfroggy.com. The purpose of the game is to practice uh, flex properties in the CSS. So, on the left side, content it says uh, which flex properties we need to use, and the code area, and the right side, the game area, we have frogs and lily pads. Uh, we have to reposition the frogs to place correct lily pads. So we are now in the level one. We will use justify content. It says use justify content and reposition the frog. Which value we need to give the frog the position on the lily pad? flex and because we want the frog to go to the end okay level 2 we will use justify content again so let's copy from here and lily pads are centered so we need to frogs also be centered justify content Enter. Now let's copy this. Maybe we need to next next level. Yes, justify content, but not center. In this chapter, we will use space around. Good. Now not space around, but space between, because we want frogs uh, two frogs on the right and the left side stay on the right and left edge of the container so we will use space between value okay we use align items here so we align items position the elements horizontally so we need to take the frogs from here to the down. Align items. Flex and good. Now the lily pads are centered both uh, horizontally and vertically. So we do the same for frog. Align items center just for content center okay let's say align items flex and good now we need to say justify content mm, space around In this level, we will use a flex direction property. Flex direction. Now let's look at the game area. See, both our frogs and lily pads on the same row, but the first frog is green, last frog is red. But first lily pad is red last lily pad is green so we need to reverse the frogs flex direction we say row not column row but reverse and level 9 this time we need to use flex direction as column because lily pads are positioned as column flex direction column good now we will use flex direction 
what uh, row but row reverse because the red frog and red lily pad uh, not in the same place row reverse and after that we need to reposition the frogs uh, to the left edge of the game area so we use justify content flex and for us it's flex start but for the frog it's and now let's first say flex direction column make frogs also column and we use justify justify content mm, flex and yes now again flex direction is column and justify content is space between because I want the frogs uh, to the edge edge of the container now it's the column normally it's if flex direction is row justify content space between uh, value is make the one of the frogs is a left edge and another frog right edge on the right edge but now it's a column so one frog is top and other frog is bottom now we also change the direction because the red frog is here but it need to go up to here so we say column but not just column reverse column like this okay let's say align items flex and and justify content center and we also change the row direction say flex direction row reverse okay level 14 now we will use order property okay now green frog is in the correct place but the yellow frog not in the correct place yellow frog must go one uh, one to, th to the right how to do that how to just uh, reposition the yellow flocks we need to use order for this order for default all items order value is zero for default so if I give this a yellow frog if I give a value more than zero it's positioned the end of the row, end of the flex items if i give this frog a value less than zero it will be displayed uh, beginning of the items so let's see if i say zero it stays in the same place but if i say minus uh, for example six comes to first because it's the it's have it has a uh, less value than others so but I want to give I want to give it a bigger value than zero to make this frog displayed on the on the last of the row so we give 
bigger than zero let's say two now done we will use order again now this time red lily pad here in the first place but red frog is in the fourth place so we need to move this red frog to the left to the beginning of the row so we need to give this frog order value less than zero order less let's say two or five okay now it's in the correct place another property you can apply to individual items is align self so in align items we use we use align items to uh, horizontally position all the elements but align self only one element we can use only one element to reposition horizontally so this yellow flock lily pad is here so it, has, it also to go down to yellow lily pad let's say align self align self flex and good now this time yellow lily pad are on the right bottom corner but the yellow frogs on the top and left side so first we need to give this yellow frogs order value bigger than the green frogs so they be they displayed end of the green frogs let's say order uh, more than one more than zero we need let's say one okay now we have to position the yellow flocks horizontally so we use align south and say flex and and this chapter we will use flex wrap property okay flex wrap you see there is uh, five lily pads here but seven frogs here because the, for default flex wrap property is set to no wrap so the frogs looks like this but if you want to if you want the more frogs than the normal uh, to display it in a new line like the lily pads we will use flex wrap and say wrap so two more frogs goes a new line and a correct place now we will use a combination of flex direction and flex wrap first we say flex direction column like the lily pads and we say flex wrap and wrap good in this chapter we will use flex flow property this property is a shorthand for flex direction and flex wrap so we use flex flow and instead of instead of flex direction and flex wrap so flex flow first value is for the flex direction Let's say column and the second value is for flex wrap property say wrap so we use one we use one property to to display the frogs as column like flex direction and also wrap like flex wrap So we will use align content. You can use align content to set how multiple lines are spaced apart from each other. Okay. So use align content and we say flex start. Again 
align counter and this time we say flex add to to display frogs from the bottom line and now we will use a combination of flex direction and align content okay first we use flex direction say column okay but now red frogs are on the top but the red lily pads on the bottom so we say column reverse now good uh, we also have to center the frogs so we say align content center now done last level level 24 okay frogs are here and lily pads are here so one red frog one red lily pad and two yellow two yellow how to position them the first say flex direction and column like lily pads we also need to use wrap because say uh, too many frogs on the same row or column so we need to use flex wrap but we can use flex flow shorthand property flex flow and we use both flex direction and flex wrap properties here let's say column and wrap okay but we want to reverse the column because red frog must be on bottom so column reverse we also reverse the rope because the yellow frogs on the left side of the other frogs so we say for rope reverse okay now the red and green frogs are positioned we just need to position the yellow frogs and uh, how to do that we, we say align content and space between okay now we need to use justify content to make the yellow flock centered so we say center yes like this well done so we finished the game it's a good good game for practice flex properties thank you for watching